please pay close attention. This alert concerns an ongoing outbreak. This alert is from Serious Contamination Prevention Limited. Serious Contamination Prevention Limited and the World Health Organization would like to confirm that the ongoing outbreak of progressive corporal slash neuromorphic caravirus, PCNC, has transitioned from an epidemic level outbreak to a pandemic. The World Health Organization and Serious Contamination Prevention Limited have decided that the outbreak of PCNC constitutes a pandemic due to its now globally widespread nature and high level of infectiousness. Continue to take steps to ensure your safety. Please remember at all times that the virus can spread through airborne spores, physical contact with those who have been infected, blood contact with those who have been infected, or saliva contact with those who have been infected. The disease causes bodily transformation, the likes of which have never been seen in any other disease. The disease causes extreme psychological effects, increasing aggression and decreasing intelligence. An infected person should be considered deceased. If you see an infected person, identifiable by their significant bodily transformations, leave the area immediately. Notify local authorities, who will take steps to contain the infected, and cordon off the area to restrict the spread of the virus. Likely hotspots of infection are airports, bus stations, cities or other population dense areas and warm areas where the virus incubates faster and spreads more effectively. You should avoid these areas if at all possible. Early signs of infection include an extreme rash, extreme itchiness, extreme confusion, sluggishness, and a high fever. If you notice these symptoms contact your local authorities immediately as the disease is treatable in early phases. Thank you for your attention and cooperation at this difficult time. Serious Contamination Prevention Limited remains committed to your safety and security and to the containment of this outbreak. Serious Contamination Prevention Limited. Prevention today for safety tomorrow. This is this month's review of the SCP Foundation and its global mission of securing, containing and protecting anomalies across the world, especially as regards to the outbreak of SCP-610. The outbreak of SCP-610 continues to spread, mostly affecting significant urban population centers in Europe, North America, South America, North Africa, and East Asia. The SCP Foundation European Subcommand, SCPF Eurosubcom, predicts that national governments throughout Europe will be unable to provide significant assistance to the Foundation in containing the outbreak within eight months. Civilian deaths. Here death refers to an infection and transfiguration by SCP-610, or termination by a SCP-610 infected entity from SCP-610 now range upwards from 10 million globally. The Foundation's secondary mission of maintaining the civilian population's unawareness of the anomalous has been somewhat successful. The public has been largely convinced by front companies that SCP-610 is an anomalous virus called PCNC. This has been achieved through strict information control, and disinformation campaigns supported by most major governments and allied groups of interest, including the Global Occult Coalition. SCP Foundation artificially intelligent conscripts predict that the outbreak will continue for another year before effective containment methods can be devised, leading to up to 50 million additional civilian deaths. Other than these issues, the Foundation's mission has continued without major disruption, and the reduced movement of civilians due to the outbreak has made the secret containment of other anomalies significantly easier at this time. Thank you for your attention.
Secure. Contain. Protect. 